Welcome to the School of Information and Library Science at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. We have a long tradition here at SILS of training leaders in a variety of information professions ranging from libraries, archives, and schools to large and small corporations, small businesses, startups, and government agencies. Give us a look either virtually or in person here in Chapel Hill. Our two-year program allows you to build a firm foundation of the basics of information science. You can then build on that to specialize in an area of interest to you. We have specializations in database design, systems analysis and design, human-computer interaction, and many others. Or you can work with some of our outstanding faculty to build a specialization really interests you. Hey, my name is Elliot Hauser. I'm a graduate of the Master's Program in Information Science and the Certificate in Health Informatics. When I was looking to go back to graduate school, um, I was able to discover kind of through online research that UNC was a leader in the field of information science. The faculty and others that make up the community of UNC Sills are definitely its greatest asset. My name is Brian Sturm. I'm the director of the Master of Science and Library Science program. One of the things that really struck me uh, when I came here was that the degree was a 48-hour degree. And what that allows us and what it allows our students to do is have an extended period of study um, in which they can explore a, a sort of at a breadth and they can also look deeply into a particular topic if that really interests them. We also have a research focus here at the school with a master's paper or project at the end of the degree and the the research focus is what really allows our students to become leaders in the field. Hi my name is Kate and I'm graduating from SILS in the MSLS program. One of the things that I've enjoyed most about my time at SILS is how willing the professors are to really mentor you. Um, if there's a course that you really feel speaks to your specialization or what you would like to do professionally, that professor is usually more than willing to help you out in terms of professional opportunities and to help you really sink your teeth into the course material. Um, hello, my name is Javed Mustafa. I'm a professor here at UNC at Chapel Hill and I'm a director for the Carolina Health Informatics program. The motivation behind the program is to train students um, for healthcare and IT uh, oriented uh, job roles. We have opportunities for students interested in the clinical, nursing, or public health sectors. Hi, I'm Cal Lee and I'm Associate Professor here at the School of Information and Library Science and I teach in the areas of archives and records management and digital curation. Um, archives is really all about the future. It's about preserving content that people will be able to use in the future to hold the government accountable, to understand the lives that people engaged in. So students who come through our program are learning about the new ways that people are expressing themselves, the new information technologies that they're using, and ways to harness all of those things to document the lives that people are engaging in now. Hello, I'm Dr. Helen Thibault, Alumni Distinguished Professor here at the School of Information and Library Science. Data and digital curation are witnessing tremendous growth, particularly in the library and archival communities. In June 2012, College and Research Library's news article cited data curation and digital preservation as two of the hottest uh, trends and uh, most important problems that academic libraries are facing today. SILS is great first because it's at the University of North Carolina um, and I think that the school itself is, is wonderful at, at training its students in interdisciplinary ways both in research and in practice. While I was at SILS I was involved with, uh, with some, some really unique projects, one working uh, with, uh, with Microsoft uh, researching the, the annotation of structured data. Um, independently I worked on an ethnography studying bloggers and and their motivations for hyperlink. I have an MLS from SILS uh, 2005 and currently I work at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo as a digital scholarship services librarian. So SILS actually prepared me in a variety the of ways. The first is um, giving me uh, exposure to research and what it really means to do research not just with um, peers but with, with um, established 
uh, scholars in the field. Um, SILS also kind of gave me a network of, of folks that I can turn to when I have questions while in the profession. The application process is fairly easy. It's all online. So you can, you know, the link is on our website on the SILS homepage and it's also on the graduate school homepage. So you can find the link there under admissions on the graduate school website. If you want to be a problem solver, an innovator, and a leader in the information world of the future, then SILS is the school for you.